Hello, and welcome back to another round of Kona 2. We are on the CMP map test event, and something went wrong on Tulagi, uh, then everything crashed. So we're just uh, restarting the whole thing now, and uh, that means that we are on Wake Island, the starting map. And I'm here with Watchtower, Stupfan, Hawk, uh, Wrench, Papillon, Blunder, uh, Geopath, um, and who did I forget this time? I think that's everybody. Okay. Uh, that's well. Uh. And for context, we are the makers of the Pacific content. No one is coming back. Well, if no one was coming back, then the server would be empty. Yeah, yawn. Another interesting early war campaign where the US basically were completely outgunned and outmanned and outnumbered. Boom. Okay. Oh, we lost airfield? No, we kept it. Japanese machine guns on the landing craft uh, fire. <laughs> oh, that was you, up <laughs> What the fuck, man? That's what I got into a really awkward firefight with. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was in the air again and looking at you. What the fuck are you doing? And oh. then you got out and uh, just in time for my rifle the grenade to slam into the AA gun, so nice timing on that. There's <laughs> a guy uh, who put up an S mine here and it's so high up uh, on the ground that that you could easily hide behind it. So... Oh. What? Yeah, S-mine. American S-mine. Oh, it should be switched team. It should be dug into <laughs> the ground a bit more. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and this building, I need to jump to get in. I think that's a problem. Is that not the same in uh, Doc FH2? Oh my god, watch that. What did you see that? I didn't see it. I, you were running, I, I respawned and I thought I was American still, and you ran across the airfield, but I was team switched, and then I shot you and then I got a team kill. <laughs> oh my good lord. Yeah, I didn't see that switch team, god damn it. Yeah, we well, got overall, I'm pretty uh, happy US with how this mine. map is shaping up. I think on the last test event we had some FPS issues and uh, I think uh, that's been addressed and once again thanks to Slayer's uh, videos we had something to kind of refer back to and watch a player go through the hell that we put them through during these testing phases. So thank you for that and I think the map is better for it. It was great. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the first things I think on your first video that we first touched on, uh, you've had two videos on this, this map as far as I know. Yeah. And the first one, the, the, under, or the pushes were just, there was just too many. And I yeah. uh, definitely agree with you on that, and so I popped them down, and and, uh, and then on the last one, we're like, okay, there's a lot less pushes now, uh, but we're still having a little bit of FPS issue. 
I think you and TS Forever were chatting at that point in time, and uh, I both concurred that that was kind of a problem with the map at the moment. Ha ha ha! Yeah, I think uh, the amount of light vehicles could uh, be toned down a bit, because uh, it's very easy to... Uh, just to rush around uh, the island in a jeep or a truck, but um, and it's it's not really um, yeah. I I'd rather have uh, people pushing up on a point with uh, mm -hmm. tank support and uh, air support and fighting their way through the island than uh, that they rush in with a truck and then squad bomb a flag. But uh, that's also just uh, my personal uh, view on things. And since I live in a free country, it's totally okay to disagree. Well, you make a good point. I am, um, there's this wrestle internally as far as how to map this out. Do you go full realistic and make players suffer through really long walks? Or do you maybe add a little bit of the, the classic... Uh, Ow. Battlefield 1942 gameplay by adding some jeeps to allow you to run around and get going places. It, it's a tough decision, and and uh, you know, right, for right now, the, the jeeps are in there. Um, that could be something that we look at and decide whether or not we want. But, yeah, you make a really good point. Yeah, yeah. The thing is that um, the, the the intention of an, uh, having people walk for uh, quite some time is that they will be more careful. And the question is, will they actually become more careful if you do that? So, because I know I won't, because I'm a very careless player. Same here, I'm kind of a lemming, and that's why I'm a better squad leader than I am anything else, because I can sit still and just let people spawn and do the work for me, and rack up the points squad leader, versus the lemming that just kind of runs straight up bullets. Yeah. Yeah, the... The thing is that um, because I'm so careless, I die super often, and that's why I'm not so very good as a squad leader. There are some maps that I can play squad leader quite well on, because when I can uh, get in a good spot inside a flag zone or something, and then uh, do some uh, coordinating, then that's... Uh, that's a good thing, of course. And on some maps you can sit in a tank. And uh, if it's the one of the heavier tanks, then you can just be a spawn point with a lot of armor around it. Are you no. sure about oh, I saw that grenade coming. Are you sure about playing... Uh, Midway with about 30 players. Certainly give it a shot. Um, I think, I I think, sure. I'm I think that the suggestions. I think that on a map like Midway, the number of players is way less important than on a map like. Um, Haley Luke or yeah. something. Yeah, but since we're testing, uh, I think it would be a nice chance to test the 32 layers of maps. I played the 32 players on the mask before in the early, in the start yeah, of the for test. <laughs> played all of them, I think. Oh. And how did they go? Hey, I switched teams. Oh, right. Pretty well, I guess. I don't, I don't think we had any problems. I was just in a jeep and uh, it didn't really kind of work out for us. We went straight into a water cooled 30 cal. And so I think there are some things on the map that definitely will bring your ride to a abrupt halt. But, uh, it is a good point on whether or not it, uh, the classic Battlefield 1942 jeep gameplay um, should be on this. Yeah, well, since this is Wake Island and uh, everybody knows Wake Island from the BF series, um, it's it's kind of 
it, it could be a bit expected that you are not trying to go for the super realistic approach. Well, you know, we're playing as less players than we should be right now. I don't think you'd be able to drive around so much if we had any players on. And people are talking about the Japanese infantry. It was the Japanese Marines that landed on Lake Island, and uh, the first attack was repelled. That took place in the middle of the night. And I did think about putting maybe the 32-player version uh, to have a kind of a dusky feel, like uh, a Hidlanta 16-player uh, layer, maybe steal the lighting from that. <laughs> Something that's still reasonably bright, but, uh, you know, nonetheless kind of a darker atmosphere. That was one of the things we were tossing around for 32-player, and uh, took some test screenshots and was oh, really well received. Of course, I switched in, so when this Japanese guy came running up to me, I didn't think of him as an enemy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're too, too loyal. It's not really clear how the, the early war Marines balance as far as weaponry goes. Uh, seems like a pretty even fight. And there's in Springfields. Yeah, I think that the bar is more useful than the Type 99. You might be right on that one, and it's certainly very deadly. Yeah, I love the bar because it's uh, the bar has been. Uh, is being used in all major conflicts in this in the 20th century that I play games in. But of course, anybody uh, that's British will tell you that the Bring gun is the superior weapon. The Bring gun is a very good weapon indeed, but uh, the bar was around for much longer. Yeah, if you are to believe gun Jesus, the uh, Type 99 and 96 LVs and the Bren gun are much better than the Bar. Well, uh, you made a good point though, from the Bar. You uh, you'd be referring so to uh, the YouTuber of Forgotten Weapons, is that right? Yep. I actually noticed uh, gun Jesus now. I, I think that's a good name for him. Oh, I just tagged Slayer. Uh, yeah. And now I... And I stole his bar. <laughs> can't spawn anymore. <laughs> and I think we might be wrapping this up as Japanese as far as a hostile takeover. Question is, will the map end now or is that set up? I at certainly, the moment, I certainly we have hope so. Yeah, at the moment we have it set up where if the Japanese take the island then that's it. And I tried to, to do something historical in that regard where there weren't any Yeah, but will it actually end handicaps? the map? Will some... Is there a, like an end sequence? Or will it just... I will see here in a second that flag is still grey, so... Uh, yeah, but there's we'll nobody around. So... Damn it! I think Arlie Ermy did a comparison between the bar and the Bren. Even, even he had agreed the Bren was better. Okay, uh, the fast lead started because the last guy got killed. So, we're yeah, still okay. not sure <laughs> if it works with the last flag capped. But, well, that's it for this round. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.